these tiny worms could be the solution to problems created by litter bugs. Despite plastic being an efficient tool for consumers, if not properly recycled, it is very harmful to the environment. This young scientist, Luke Delport, conceptualized an idea of ending the global plastic pollution problem using worms that are sometimes used as fishing bait. Delport says his project was inspired by his love for wildlife. My project is about how mealworms are able to decompose plastic using enzymes in their gut. Um, I did my project over the course of four weeks and the mealworms were able to consume the plastic at an alarming rate. The poly I did it with polystyrene and polythylene and the polystyrene was consumed at a better rate. Um, my project, after doing my project, I observed that this can be used in the real world. Meanwhile, Another learner from the province backed a silver medal for her bioplastic project in the engineering category. Katie Governor created plastic that is environmentally friendly using cornstarch and gelatin. This is different from normal plastic which uses non-renewable resources such as natural gas and oil. The manufacturing process of ordinary plastic also releases harmful greenhouse gases that contribute to climate change. I develop bioplastic. So bioplastic essentially breaks down in the environment without harming the environment. So this combats all the negative effects of normal plastic that we have seen. Grace Moyo created a solution to something that was giving her a headache. The grade 10 learner came up with a swimming cap that does not tear or slip off when taking laps in the pool. She also received a silver medal in the engineering category. I created a swimming cap and basically what led to the motivation behind this research project was that I noticed that swimming caps weren't inclusive, especially in my school. Um, we often swim during PE lessons and swimming caps either break and then you have to swim with no swimming cap or they slip off while you're swimming in the pool and then your hair gets wet. So that means you have to go throughout the whole school day with wet hair. So I tried to create a better swimming cap and I was successful. The ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists tries to cultivate a love for maths and science. It's open to all learners across the country from grade 4 till grade 12, including college students. Uh, our aim is to develop uh, young talent in the form of scientists and researchers. So the reason why we are doing that is for us to make sure that we promote what we call the STEMI. So that is science, technology, engineering, mathematics and innovations. The 13 learners who represented the province backed 12 prizes ranging from gold and silver to bronze. Kimberley region, one was awarded one gold, three silver and a bronze. These young scientists say they look forward to the next science expo and already have bright ideas. Karabo Sioko, SABC News, Kimberley.